is going to break ground today in the Greenwood District. Comes 99 years after the 1921 Tulsa race massacre where mobs of people attacked hundreds of black people and black owned businesses. George Fuse, Tatiana Taylor is live for us this morning to explain what this really means for the Tulsa community. Tatiana, good morning. Travis, good morning. So the intersection that I'm standing near Greenwood and Archer used to be the gateway into what was known as Black Wall Street. Now it's the location where the history of this neighborhood will rest. 33, 35 city blocks uh, northward from here, um, from this very corner, and to be able to have a facility where the world can come and learn this entire history, this story, this spirit of resiliency uh, from a community that was destroyed and then rebuilt their community uh, and made it even bigger and better than it was after it was destroyed. Phil Armstrong is the project director for the Tulsa Race Massacre Centennial Commission. A commission started five years ago by State Senator Kevin Matthews, whose goal is to bring attention to Tulsa from around the world and learn about what happened here nearly 100 years ago. We make sure that next year, 2021, is not a kumbaya, shake hands, and we're all good, go back to your corners moment. Next year is just going to be the launching pad, if you will, of things to come 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 years from now. They're calling it Greenwood Rising, said to be the first of many new historic places to come, commemorating the history of Black Wall Street. One of the exhibits in the Greenwood Rising is going to be called the Journey to Reconciliation, an amphitheater style program area where individuals can come and have conversations about race, have conversations about tough, difficult things, to be able to walk away changing. And Phil says it could change the culture of the city. Having a respect and an understanding for someone else's culture that will lead to unity and reconciliation and allow people to walk away from here empowered to change their fears at spheres of influence and, and, and become a better person and change our society. Greenwood Rising's official groundbreaking is today from 12 to 1 p.m. So coming up next, I'll tell you how you can watch it live and find out more about what's happening. Live in Tulsa, I'm Tatiana Taylor. Two works for you.